Today we are going to talk about fuzzy logic. And if you don't know what fuzzy logic or fuzzy controllers are, then you should find this presentation uh, a reasonably good introduction. Okay. If I'm driving a car at 50 miles per hour and the journey, I'm traveling from A to B and the distance is uh, 25 miles, so I can calculate precisely that at 50 miles per hour, I will cover 25 miles in 30 minutes or half an hour. These are all precise, crisp values, 50 miles per hour, 25 miles, 30 minutes. On the other hand, if I was traveling from A to B at about 80 miles per hour, that's a bit too fast, and uh, the distance is about 160 uh, miles, then crisp values will tell me at constant speed of 80 miles per hour, I will cover 160 miles in two hours. But it depends on the traffic conditions. It depends on the uh, surface of, of the road, if it's raining, if it's snowing, if it's sandstorm. So I can say I'm traveling from A to B and if there is no traffic it will probably take me about two hours, two hours, 15 minutes and if there is traffic it might take two and a half hours. If there is heavy traffic it could take anything between three hours and three and a half hours or four hours. These now not very precise statements. About is not precise. Uh, it will take long if there is traffic. How long is long? How short is short? How fast is fast? This what we regard as imprecise or fuzzy statements. The best way to introduce the concept is to start with expert systems. Expert systems uh, in the context of control, what does it mean? An expert system in context of control is computer program that mimics the operator. For example, if you're driving a car, you know that if you uh, wanted to keep the distance between your car and the car in front at certain, uh, at certain value, and uh, the car in front slows down, you need to apply the brake. You don't need to model the engine or the drive uh, mechanism of the car, the drive train and the inertia of the car, you don't need to model that. You know from experience, if the car in front becomes closer to you, then you apply the brake. So if the distance is decreasing, you apply the brake. If the distance is decreasing fast, you apply the, the brake harder. So the distance is one variable, and decreasing fast is the distance decreasing fast. That's rate of change of the variable. So your action depends on the variable, the distance between you and the car in front, and also on how fast this distance is changing. But you do that without thinking what is the uh, inertia of the car, what is the performance of the engine, you do it from experience. So rather than model the car, we in an expert system, we model the driver. So it's the experience operator. In this case, you don't drive a car without being a driver. That's, you learned how to drive a car. You know how to drive a car. Processes are controlled by experienced operators. And in expert system, we, in expert systems, we mimic the, uh, the operator, not, the, not model the plan. Why expert system in control? We need to model the system. For example, a car, the engine, the drivetrain, the inertia. 
and there are uh, errors in the model also there are disturbances and you will need to integrate many sciences in the model and it's not easy and few people have such an extensive knowledge so to summarize most com complex processes are controlled by human and expert system rather than model the plant or the process they mimic the uh, operator so we'll illustrate this by considering an example and the example we use here is is very common in, in chemical engineering it's a mixing tank uh, what we have here we have uh, a fluid uh, going into the tank this is just stirring it we're measuring the temperature of the tank and we need to keep the temperature of the tank at certain values say 50 degrees how do we do that we have here uh, steam flowing into a heat exchanger and uh, if the temperature is very low of the liquid going into the tank we increase the flow of steam there will be here heat exchange stirring the temperature stabilizes at the desired value when the temperature reaches the desired value we close the valve so this is the simple example which we are going to use using crisp control and using fuzzy uh, logic so the first approach i'm going to say uh, if, if 50 is my desired temperature then if it's above 50 i will say that hot if it's below 50 i will say it's cold if it's cold the action is to open the valve if it's hot the action is to close the valve this is like a, 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 the relay controller a, a, an open close uh, action and uh, when implementing it this is just two simple statements if t is less than 50 then valve position is open if temperature is greater than 50 valve position is closed or zero percent uh, such controller the temperature will oscillate if you have the temperature is 50 degrees if that's the 50 degrees then you will find that uh, the temperature is oscillating like that that's the temperature and that's the 50 degrees and it's time so we want to get rid of the oscillations so what i'm going to do i'm going to divide the range to rather than cold and hot i have here that's my okay temperature which is 50 i would say between 45 and 50 it's okay here it is a small positive and if it goes higher than that it's medium positive or large positive similarly if the temperature falls below the desired value it's a small negative medium negative or large negative and i divide it into a range and temperature just to the other side of 75 74 let's say it will be in the other group which is medium positive and it stays medium positive will stay all all the range here implementation of this will be using if then statements but i will divide the action my previous action when i had cold cold and hot we just open the valve or close the valve here if it's okay i close the valve if the temperature is a bit negative i will open the valve one turn or one degree if it's very cold large negative i will open it three degrees if it's in between two degrees similarly if this is this is the current valve position and the temperature goes up 
I will close the valve a bit. If it goes very high up, then I will close the valve much more. So the minus and the plus refer to the action, how far we close or open. This is close and this is open the valve. As I mentioned, implementation will be if-then statements, and you can see that I have a large number of, well, larger number. Previous case, I had only two statements. Here I have um, whatever number of statements. So, so I have here summary of my division of the temperature range and my action. Where did I get the action from? I asked the operator, Mr. Operator, if the temperature is around 50, what are you going to do? I'm going to keep the valve as it is, okay? If the temperature goes from 50 to 60, what are you going to do? He says, I'm going to turn the valve, close it by one degree or one turn or whatever, we call that minus one, that's close. And the opposite happens when the temperature of the, water, the liquid in the tank is going uh, below 50 degrees. This is, we call this crisp control because any value of temperature, any value belongs completely in one of our subdivisions. Any value, choose any value, say 65, 69. 69 is somewhere here. It belongs totally in the medium positive division. How did I arrive at this division? I arrived at this division by knowing the process, i.e. there is some knowledge of the process. Difficulties here, we consider a case when the temperature is 24.9, that belongs to the large negative. Large negative means the action, I just changed the color of the pen to blue or to uh, black even, I'll choose purple, it's a nice color. Actually, that will confuse things a bit because I'm using it later. So here, large negative, large negative, um, the action is plus three. Similarly, I look at another temperature here, which is 25.1. 25.1 falls into the medium negative, and the action will be plus two, i.e. open the valve. So th we, we end up with this crisp control, if you like, with Two similar temperatures, 24.9 and 25.1, but the action, we will see that the action for the red case, 24.9 will be plus 3, and the action for the other case is plus 2. Two similar temperatures, and our controller will tell us take two different actions. Quite frankly, if you ask an experienced operator if the temperature is 24.9, what are you going to do? He's going to say, well, I'm going to open the valve, allow more steam to heat the liquid in the tank by that much. And you tell him if it's 25.1, he will say, I don't know the difference between 25.1 and 24.9, but our controller takes very different actions. So that's what I'm summarizing here. A human operator would most likely not distinguish between the two temperatures and would possibly, well, and all, most likely will take the same action in both cases. Our computer using expert system would use very different action, plus three turns, plus two turns. To overcome this, oh, I will need to divide even finer range. 
if I define the very fine range here, what I will end up with, someone will say, oh, you will end up with a long list of if-then statements. It's not only that. The information here, which I get from the operator, when I say to the operator, what you will do when it's 20, uh, the temperature is 25.2 or 25.3, the information for such fine divisions will be very difficult to obtain. And that's what I summarize here. And the answer to this is to, lose, uh, to use fuzzy logic. Aha, we don't know what is fuzzy logic. So what we know is this. And here we have crisp membership functions. So let's reproduce that. So what we discussed so far is how to implement an expert knowledge into a controller using crisp uh, discrimination between temperatures. Crisp, I mean any temperature you choose will be belong 100% to one of the divisions we specified. Fuzzy will allow, and we'll consider here the very simple case where you're going to use triangular membership functions. For example, minimum negative, sorry, medium negative, it's, I will say it's 30 degrees. If the temperature is 30 degrees, 30 degrees belongs 100% to medium negative. However, if you use a temperature like, um, let's say, 42. 42 will belong that much in the black group, which is OK, and that much in the light blue, which is small negative. When you add the two values, that let's say 0.2 times this and 0.8 times this, that will, so 42 degrees according to this modified membership functions now, will say 42 degrees. 42 degrees here was all in small negative. 42 degrees here in the triangular membership function case will be belong 20% in the OK. It's, it's, it's lower than 50, but it's not too bad. And 80% in small negative. So let's consider, I'll just delete this. And now let's consider the case of the two temperatures which are similar. I think it was. 29 point, um, let's say, yeah. So I consider two cases. The first case shown by the purple here, if that's 25, so this is 24 point something, and this is 25 point something. Very similar temperatures. The purple one belongs from here to there in the minimum negative. And that's 0.49. And from, I will use crosses here to there in the large negative. And that's the large negative. The action from the lookup table, where did I get? I asked the operator, Mr. Operator, if it's in that range, what you do? The Mr. Operator said to me, if it's here, I will do, I keep the valve as it is. If it's a small negative, I will open the valve one turn or one degree or one increment. If it's here, it's I will open it twice. And if it's here, I will open it three times. So what I end up with here, that the temperature I chose, the, as shown by the purple line, and it's the original presentation purple line, not what I added, it will belong 51% in the large negative 
and 49% in the medium negative. Consider the one in red. The one in red, it's the opposite. It belongs 49% in the large negative and 51% in the medium negative category. The action for this large negative is plus 3, the action is plus 3, the action here is plus 2, the action, the large negative, well, the same values. So how do I get my action? I multiply the action by the percentage. So control action for the purple case, which is just less than 25, is 0 0.51 multiplied by 3 plus 0 0.49 multiplied by 2 gives 2.51 turns. Here in the red case where the temperature was just over 25 degrees, multiply 0.49 by 3 plus 0.51 by 2, you end up with uh, 2.49 turns. So here similar temperatures gave us similar actions. Remember when we used CRISP membership functions, the actions were very different, were plus 3 and plus 2, very different for similar temperatures. So when we used a fuzzy, what is the fuzzy in this context here? We allowed the temperatures to belong to two groups and to have a membership value of each group. In the example shown, the membership values were 0.51 and 0.49. Could be anything. What I did here, I found the intersections graphically. But remember, these are straight lines. The membership function are straight lines. Straight lines are very simple equations. When you, for a given value of temperature, you can find the intersection mathematically between a straight line and a vertical line representing a temperature value. This is, can be all done using the computer. So all this can be done in a very simple computer statement. To summarize, the fuzzy membership functions enabled us to overcome the difficulty of having very different control actions for a small change in measured temperatures. This was achieved without having to increase the number of rules, the if-then if statements. So far, we considered the case when there is only one input, one variable, we were just looking at the temperature. The plant operator will modify the action depending on the inlet temperature. For example, if the uh, previous case which we considered the rule base when it's okay, it's leave the valve as it is. If it's a small negative, open it one degrees and so on. This was based on an inlet temperature, let's say, of 15 degrees. Normally, the temperature, if the temperature was normally 15 degrees, it, the operator takes the action. If today the inlet temperature has increased to 25, of course, the operator will immediately change his action. And for example, in this case, he will take is not going to allow more steam as it before when it was 15 degrees the action here was one degree or one turn or one increment of the valve now it's less